Listen. Why well, I look like my shirt on backwards? All right. Today, I'm pretty sure I've already talked about this. We're going to talk about being ungrateful and selfish. Because I just... Selfish, okay? So, please know that how you feel is how you feel. But you can't impose certain things on other people because you don't know how they feel and you don't know what's going on in their life me i would love to be able to come home anytime i want but stuff has been going on in my life and at home that y'all don't know about so just be considerate to the fact you know if i can't come home i really want to come home to visit my family visit my friends especially this particular weekend i would love to be home but don't come at me like you know trying to make me feel bad because i can't come home i feel bad enough so just be mindful and considerate of what other people got going on like okay you want somebody to come to your baby birthday party well maybe they're going through you know loss of a family member and they just don't want to bring you know that downward energy to your positive event like just it's not always about you like okay i had to get that out also being ungrateful I was talking to my husband about this last night because I feel like people are only ungrateful because they have too many options. Like, you only take advantage of things that you have. So, like, we get free food at work. Free food. Okay? Sometimes we get to pick, sometimes we don't. There are people at my job that complain regardless of if it's something they like or something they don't. If it's something they like, well, they didn't bring enough. If it's something that they didn't like, they're like, this is nasty, and just throw it in the trash. Like, if you don't like it, don't eat it. Stop complaining about it. It's free. But back when we wasn't getting free lunches, everybody was like, oh, man, you know, I now I got to spend money to get lunch, or I got to cook. Like, pick one. You're going to be ungrateful, or you're going to be grateful? Because I can't, I can't do both, okay? You can't be ungrateful when you have it and ungrateful when you don't have it. You got to be across the board. Um, and that's just... Uh, that's just the world i think that's just america is just but then it's also like simple stuff like i feel like you know god and Arona is trying to teach us being grateful and being appreciative with just the simple things and not idolizing people like athletes and social media stars and stuff like that like you know you're supposed to be looking for him you know looking at him for the base of everything you know i'm happy that people start appreciating us you know healthcare workers and uh janitors and people that work at like the grocery stores like i'm happy that people start to see that because we all get disrespected like nursing is a great career it's fulfilling for the people that do it but y'all know how many days we get disrespected by patients by family members by doctors be unappreciated like you know just worker bees like even the social workers i work with like okay let's let's get more simpler than that your your eyes you have two eyes to see most people can still see if you lost like you lost your sight you will regret the fact that you only look at the negative in this world instead of the positive like now everybody's so negative like oh you know it's just it's too negative it's too negative in the world but if you lost your eyesight tomorrow you will regret the fact that you were sitting here looking at the negative you would probably be like most normal people would probably be like you know oh i wish i could look at the sunset one more time i wish i could look at my kid's face again i wish i could i don't know like instead you worried about these bills that you got to look at okay well look at the fact that you can still look at the bills Look at the fact that you still have a job. Some people don't have jobs right now. Um, your hands. God gave you two hands. Most people still have their hands. Instead of using your hand to harm people, you know, to kill people, to hurt people, uh, we still need justice for Breonna Taylor. Come on, y'all. Um, instead of using your hands for that, use your hands to bless people to pray for people put them together pray for people learn how to play the piano learn how to uh sign language to those who can't hear 
Learn how to bless people with your two hands instead of using them for harm. Use them for good because I bet you tomorrow if you lost both of your hands and you couldn't feed yourself, you couldn't talk to no, you couldn't pick up the phone to call nobody, you couldn't touch a loved one, you would be like sad. Like I'd be depressed. Like I took that for granted. So stop taking stuff for granted. Quit being ungrateful. It's people out here who have to make life decisions on whether or not they can keep these things that God gave them because it's a matter of life or death. Like, stop being ungrateful, y'all. Please. Like, I'm learning very much so. And it's to the point where back in the day, stuff like this didn't bother me. But now it irritates my soul because I see how ungrateful people are because I have changed the way that I look at things. And as soon as you start to change the way you look at things, trust, it's going to irk your nerves too. So, I'm sorry to be, you know, so serious, but y'all got to do something for real. Hope y'all have a good Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday.